What's up, YouTube? This is WFTP Radio Gamer with another game. But this isn't a gameplay video like I normally do here on my channel. This is more of an instruction video on how to set up your own classic Ultima Online Mondane's Legacy server and play around with it. I'll even show you how to make your own server public so you can play with other players and staff members and everything. I used to run Ultima Online servers back in 2011. You may remember me. I was the one who started Radio Ultima, which later on ended up having to be changed to Radio Ultimate when the RunUO community was told by Origin Systems that we weren't allowed to put the official copyrighted name Ultima in our server titles. Apparently, we're allowed to run our own Ultima Online servers and make them public, but as far as I know from the date of this video, the only stipulation is that only older clients of the game, like Mondane's Legacy, can be emulated legally. Here we go. For this instructional video, we are going to be using my 2010 release of RunUO 2.0 Final Repack, last updated on March 26, 2011. My thanks goes out to the following for the systems that are in this repack. This is a clean RunUO 2.0 final install with the following custom scripts installed which now includes a copy of the script folder from our production server, therefore adding a lot of new systems. First things first, pause the video here and go to the links in the description in the download section and download the following programs. RunUO 2.0 Final Repack 2.3.2011.rar Patch 0527.2012.rar RazorLatest.exe and UOML setup 6.0.0.0 parts 1 and 2. It is very important that you have both of these parts because they're a multi-part compression file for a very large file. All right, let's clear it up. We need the full screen for the next part here. The first thing we're going to do is go to the folder where you downloaded all those programs in the download section of this video. And we are going to right-click on RunUO 2.0 Final Repack, February 3rd, 2011. Extract files. Do not extract to or extract to RunUO 2.0 Final blah, blah, blah. You need to extract files because from here we are going to select a specific location to extract the files to. In this window, you only need to select Windows C to extract the files to it, because it will extract a folder called RunUO 2.0, and everything will be contained in there from the server that you will need. So press OK and extract the file and wait until it's done. OK, that file is uncompressed. You may delete it or discard it or whatever you want to do with it. Hang on to it if you like. It's okay. I'm going to delete it because I already have it. Next, you need to right-click on Patch 527-2012. And do not extract here. Extract files. For this file, you need to select C RunUO 2.0, that is all you need to do because there is a scripts folder contained within this patch file that goes in the RunUO 2.0 folder. The scripts folder in the patch file that I created contains all of the scripts from my production server that I used to run back in 2011. So uncompress that file to the RunUO 2.0 folder. And yes to all. We 
may delete that folder. Next, we're going to right click on UOML Setup 6.0.0.0 Part 1 to uncompress it. You only need to click on Part 1. And you can extract this file here. When the file is done extracting, we'll continue. You can delete these files if you wish. Next, double click on UOML Setup 14603. This is Mondane's Legacy's last version from 6.0.0.0. .0 .0. I don't know about anybody else, but I like to put my games in certain folders. I put all my games in a game folder off the C drive. So you can install it wherever you wish. And then I also install my games off of the game folder on the start menu. Install the game. After the installation is completed, we'll continue. You don't have to create a short top, a shortcut to the desktop if you don't want to. You can delete UOML setup if you wish. Next, install Razer Latest. You can delete that if you wish. Next, you're going to want to go to the folder where you installed Ultima Online Mondane's Legacy. In my case, it's in C Games Ultima Online 2D Client. Copy the location here. Then, before we start the server, there's a couple of scripts that you're going to want to edit. You want to go to the C drive on the left side of your file explorer. Go down to Run UO 2.0. Double click on Scripts. Go to Miscellaneous. And the first file that you want to edit is datapath.cs. Open it with your current text editor. Mine is Notepad. Here on this line, Private Static String Custom Path, in between the parentheses or the quotations, this is where you paste in your path to your Ultima Online installation. Save the file. The next file that you edit is serverlist.cs. This contains the name of your server. The name of the server to put to edit is down here where it says public static read only string address. You can put the address of your IP address of your server or whatever you want. I'm putting localhost. That way we can log into it through a localhost. Down here is where you put the name of the server public static read only string server name. Mine is called Teravithia ML in parentheses, stands for Mondane's Legacy. Save that, close it, and the next thing you want to do is edit socketoptions.cs. In here is where you want to put your port number for your server address, or you can leave it as default 2593. If you change it, save it and close. Go back to the regular server directory and run runuo.exe. If you did it correctly, the server should run properly and start up with no problems. Awesome. Now we have a running Ultima Online Mondane's Legacy server on RunUO 2.0 with my scripts. 
Don't worry about the three bad spawns detected, 20 bad spawns detected, or detected 70 hair and facial hair items being worn, converting to their virtual counterparts. That doesn't cause any problems with the server, except some of the NPCs in the game might turn out bald. I have no idea why. This is the closest rendition of an Ultima Online Mondane's Legacy server that we can come to. Next, double-click on your Razer icon on your desktop or wherever you put it. And in here, you want to put your server address. Mine was localhost. In the port, I put 2593 because that's the port to my server. Don't worry about selected profile could not be loaded because it'll just use the default. That's what happens when you first install Razer. On this screen, you want to put in the account name of the server to start out, I created an administrator account for the first use. That account name is administrator with a capital A. The password is password with a capital P. If you did it correctly, you should get Terabithia Mondane's Legacy. Connect to that, choose administrator, and it should log you in. There's no news at the, at the moment. But this is where the administrator account first logs you in, Britain Bank. And see, now we have our own Ultima Online server running. The administrator account is all set up. Isn't this freaking cool? Now, there's something I want to show you which is really interesting. I'm a big member of Stargate. I have the Stargate system on here. Use the Stargate by double-clicking on the green crystal. Look for one of your addresses that you want to go to. We're going to go to Cove. 11114. And there's no numbers to these symbols, but you kind of have to count them in your head. This is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5. So we go 1, 1, 1, 1, 4. Activate. And that gives us the open Stargate to Cove. And here I am in Cove. Isn't this cool? Got your own little Ultima Online server here, thanks to me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And we'll see you out there. Please follow us on Facebook.